Guys, welcome to the Omni downtown San Diego. We are here for one night uh, celebrating my birthday this year. We just spent the last couple of nights also staying at hotels. We were at Hyatt Properties actually, um, instead of the Omni. We uh, were staying the last two nights at the Ilium Array, which I've done a video on before. You can click on it up here to watch it. And then we also stayed one night at the uh, Park Hyatt Avari, which I've also done a video on, which you can click up up here. So I didn't really want to film uh, videos of uh, properties I've already filmed before. So anyways, uh, tonight we're here at the Omni downtown San Diego. Uh, we got a gift card for Christmas from uh, Christina's parents. So we thought we'd come and use it and see what uh, the Omni downtown had to offer. So I told them it was birthday celebration and that me and Christina were also celebrating something. So they hooked it up and they upgraded our room. I just booked a standard king um, and they put us up to a 20th floor king room, which is now a view of the bay instead of a city room, which is nice. Uh, so we actually have an incredible view looking out over the Coronado Bridge and all of Coronado Island. Um, so today I'm going to be taking you around, showing you a little bit of the property and uh, just walking through the room. The entryway to the room, the hallways aren't anything too interesting, but there's a large closet here on the right. They've included two towels to the Omni. Looks like there's extra bedding up there if you wanted it. Coat hangers, uh, dryer, uh, iron and a uh, dryer board. And then a couple of holders for bags. It's got a small safe up top if you want to lock something up. Large window. Um, TV sitting up here on the top. I think this is a 55 inch, maybe a 50. Um, and then has down here a small mini fridge if you wanted to cool anything. Uh, the desk area is also pretty simple, but nice. Uh, has a glass line at the top. They did a nice uh, birthday uh, little cake for me, which was nice of them to do. A couple of waters, ice bucket and cups. And then they have a lounge style chair over on the right with the ottoman. Uh, king bed uh, with the uh, both bedside tables, matching lamps, alarm clock, phone, uh, pretty standard. And then out here we have a very small balcony, uh, emphasis on small. It is probably no larger than like 16 inches uh, or so. So that uh, that's about it. But it does allow you with these twin doors to open them up and actually get the breeze into the room from the bay. So I think that's the intention behind it. But you can, I'm gonna step out on here. Like I can step out here and kind of look around a little bit. And then that's the Omni's pool down below. We'll check that out later. So they have a heated pool. They said it's heated to 80 degrees, hot tub, uh, some lounging areas here with some umbrellas and things and uh, some fire pits and stuff down here as well. The Omni also gave us a couple of free beverage tickets, which was nice of them. So uh, we can exchange this for a free drink at the bar. This is a quick tour of the Omni's hallways. Not much because they give, oh wow. Actually, I did not expect this. This is a full view of Petco Park. So from the Omni, it's actually a quick walk to Petco Park, uh, which is the San Diego Padres Stadium. And um, it's incredibly close such that if you can tell where my finger is, there is a bridge that walks from the hotel into Petco Park for a private Omni hotel entrance and uh, gives you a great view of San Diego too. What do you think of the Omni? I think it's nice. I will say I'm kind of a Hyatt loyalist. I really like what they got going on, but this is really nice and we don't often stay downtown, so it's a cool treat. All right, we're uh, wrapping up a nice morning here at the Omni. Uh, we just went down to the pool area for a little bit. So it is a saltwater pool on top of the roof, which makes sense. Um, it is not too warm. They claim it is heated, which I, I think it is, uh, but we uh, were thinking it was maybe closer to like 80. And I, I really don't think it is. It may be in the like low 70s, maybe mid 70s. So not a big hit to the Omni, but just in case you're wondering how warm it is, I don't think to expect like super warm temps out of it. Unfortunately, when we were down there this morning, the hot tub was closed, so I didn't get to try that out, although it did look nice. The view is very pretty from the roof though, when you're sitting down by the pool. I think that's the best part about it is the location here. Birthday cake review, incoming. Good. I'm good, we got you out of town, pretty good.
right, we're uh, wrapping up a nice morning here at the Omni. Uh, we just went down to the pool area for a little bit. So it is a saltwater pool on top of the roof, which makes sense. Um, it is not too warm. They claim it is heated, which I, I think it is. Uh, but we uh, were thinking it was maybe closer to like 80. And I, I really don't think it is. It may be in the like low 70s, maybe mid 70s. So not a big hit to the Omni, but just in case you're wondering how warm it is, I don't think to expect like super warm temps out of it. Unfortunately, when we were down there this morning, the hot tub was closed, so I didn't get to try that out, although it did look nice. The view is very pretty from the roof, though, when you're sitting down by the pool. I think that's the best part about it is location here. Overall, we said we'd give the pool probably a, a six and a half to seven out of 10. Um, given it's a downtown rooftop pool, it's probably there is like a seven and a half. I think I'm comparing it to both the Hyatt Manchester and both the Andaz's rooftops um, with pools. Now the Andaz doesn't have a hot tub, unfortunately. Um, so this one does, which is very nice. Um, but the pool overall here is larger, but just doesn't have the same, I think, uh, uh, rooftop vibe that the, uh, the Andaz has. So I would say overall for the Omni, uh, they have a hotel that's positioned in a great location. I would say nine out of 10, if you're coming to downtown San Diego, it's connected to the Padres Park, which is very convenient if you're doing that. I think if you were a group of uh, people who wanted to come down, party for a night, go to Petco game, uh, you know, check out the bars and stuff, this is probably a great hotel to do it in. And overall, I think the service we received at the Omni is actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's high at levels um, from my experience here, but they did try their best at almost every opportunity to, to make any requests we wanted, which was nice. Um, and overall, I, I don't think I have any, any knock towards the Omni. Um, if this was something you wanted to come try it out downtown, I, I'd give it a shot. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for the vlog today. Appreciate you watching, like and subscribe down below. We did enjoy the Omni. Uh, we had a couple of strange interactions with their guest facilities, but overall, we enjoyed the stay. And I think if you're coming to the San Diego area and just wanted somewhere to stay downtown and go out and have a good time, I would definitely recommend it. And if, again, you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe down below. Uh, for more videos and we'll uh we'll be sure to update you again soon see ya it's delightful yeah. is it delightful it is delightful now has anyone else noticed that we're at the second resort of the weekend barely <laughs> <laughs>